All right, hello everybody, welcome. Uh, it is early morning in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Actually, we're recording on the bus. I'm here with my good friend James Fitzgerald, uh, also known as OPT. I guess I, I always call you James, yeah, I don't yeah, call you OPT. But, uh, but that is isn't your moniker. Uh, but uh, we've had a great day. We actually picked James up in Scottsdale, uh, did a little filming there, and then drove up. We spent the day in Moab, Utah yesterday. Uh, we were up in a plane doing flybys with the bus and shots. Uh, we did mountain biking, uh, which was sick, in the, in the, uh, along the Colorado River and Dead Horse Park. Uh, just a lot of fun. And uh, made it through an interesting night on the bus <laughs> with a uh, generator breaking down for a few hours, but we made it. Uh, but we're here to, to talk about a few updates. Um, and uh, first, I'd just like to you know share James. So tell everybody uh, kind of what you got going on right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you've got a lot of big changes that have kind of happened recently, and uh, you've had yeah. a big move. So tell us what's up. Yeah, so I guess the biggest thing is uh, we've moved our uh, facility or headquarters from uh, uh, and my working office from Canada down to Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, so we have um, a real nice project uh, to start up there in terms of uh, this evolution of what we've been trying to do is uh, create a whole new definition of fitness, the testing around it, the assessment, um, and, and basically just geek out on fitness. This whole idea in terms of balanced program design, which contains good life coaching, good nutrition, all those things, uh, moving down there has now allowed us to take it to another step with uh, outside uh, involvement of doctors and, uh, and uh, structural balance people, and so it's, we're pretty excited about that. Awesome. And uh, James has actually been my coach for the last, I think we said almost three coming years. up on three yeah, years yeah, now. Yeah, close to three years. Uh, so, uh, and I've been privy to see, you know, kind of the, um, where you guys started in, yeah. in Calgary and how it's exploded and uh, just an incredible group, great project with some very interesting things that are going to be going on uh, at your new facility over the next mm -hmm. uh, months and, and years ahead. So um, we'll kind of leave it at that and, and, and I'm sure you'll share more of in, yeah. uh, soon. Uh, we've got a couple events, James and I coming up together. Uh, we'll be in, uh, James has got a big event, the Big Dog Bash yeah, in, uh, in a month in San Diego uh, at uh, CJ Martin's place, who is a, also a VIP member of ours. Um, and then we've got Mega Training next uh, in Orlando. And I'm excited to have you come into Mega Training. You were, you were at yeah. Mega Training two years ago. Yeah. Um, and uh, a lot's happened and evolved for you in the last two years. Yeah. So. Um, You've got, a, I know, a big presentation plan. Kind of share with folks a little bit about what, what you've got planned to talk about. Yeah, well, it uh, goes in synergy in terms of what we're going to be doing in Scottsdale, and that's my uh, forte is assessment and program design. And um, so in uh, at the mega training event, um, I'm just going to dig a little deeper into maybe uh, uh, changing people's perspectives on how to, how to properly take uh, uh, individual assessment and program design to a new level, um, to look at the, uh, the past involvement and what that looked like um, the evolution of it, the amalgamation of a bunch of different minds and kind of ideas over time. But the main thing um, um, basically is about quantification of, of your assessment and program design um, and individualization and how to do that so you can bring it back to your facility for your group or your trainers um, and just take your business to a new level. Separate yourself from everyone else. Yeah, and really deliver, you know, r real results yeah. to people on, on so many levels and dimensions that uh, you know, most coaches don't even consider or think about. Yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, I, I will ask you to talk about, you know, one of the things that, that you talk about is delivering an honest prescription, mm -hmm. um, which, which, which is, you know, means a lot, right? Yeah. So um, talk to me about what you mean when you say delivering an honest prescription, which starts with complete assessment and, uh, and then good program design. Yeah, yeah, a couple of things there. Uh, number one, you're not going to uh, program design anything you don't know how to do, so the virgin sex therapist thing. Um, so you got to have experiences in your life and within your coaching. And if you go beyond what you're capable of knowing what the client is going to be doing, um, then that's a dishonest prescription. Um, so you're just basically reading from a manual and then prescribing and not really know exactly what's going to be happening. So um, an honest prescription is based upon what you know will be effective because you've experienced that you can pass on. And there's nothing wrong with being at that level, increasing your experiences moving forward. Secondly is this, uh, this uh, sense in the fitness industry which has really um, been um, irking me for a number of years is, is, a, is a prescription without knowing any idea in terms of why it's done. Um, so that means just uh, putting stuff up and uh, hoping you're going to get a dose response based upon that for everyone, one person or whatnot, um, and a lot of guesswork happening and then it, uh, it just messes up the whole package. So a more of an honest prescription in terms of what goes beyond that is some operations and procedures around knowledge and exercise physiology, which I'm well probably sharing, um, as well as just some simple insights into uh, 
um, how to put that together properly. Yeah. Yeah, and I think one of the big uh, you know things that, that you message that you preach is is to you know ask the right questions. You yeah. know, be be someone that that does your own research mm -hmm. um, and ask the, the right questions that are going to evolve you as a coach and as a fitness professional, as opposed to just you know taking what someone else said and, and doing it, not knowing why you're doing mm -hmm. it, and then really not having the yeah. not having the understanding to back it up or even say if you know it's really going to deliver, yes. even though yeah. you've seen maybe one or two examples. So. Yeah, and some of, the, some of the examples I'll give which will make people really think more critically um, is about different prescriptions of weight training protocols that we all thought due to academia and uh, that world um, we thought we were getting dose responses of uh, different kinds of conditioning models that people are using, uh, thinking their sweat response and time and work rest ratios, um, as well as endurance models. We really have to rethink that in terms of what it means for fitness because the, the mantra has been taking it from a, a sport setting in weight training, you know, let's call it uh, you know, high turnover work and endurance, and let's put that into fitness. Yet in fitness is a, lot, is a lot about real life and function and things like that. So um, I'm going to make people think a little more critically about what that looks like. Awesome. Uh, and I know you've got uh, just some, well, some great things happening with the CCP program, which yeah. um, we'll be able to share about at Mega Training, which is uh, James's uh, program for uh, coaching certification, yeah. uh, delivering great, you know, combination of program design, assessment, nutrition, lifestyle coaching. Um, and, and just business. putting all the yeah, business systems, I'm the business systems coach, uh, and really evolving uh, coaches in, in, in a great way. Yeah. So I'm um, excited to, uh, to introduce more about that to our mm -hmm. folks. Um, so, uh, and then I guess we got a few weeks off and we hit the road for Australia. Yeah. Uh, we'll be two weeks down in Australia doing uh, our mega training down there as yep. well as uh, a couple other certs. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna have a busy, uh, busy, busy <laughs> fall on the road for James and I. Uh, but fun. We're excited uh, about the trips. Uh, so I just want to encourage everybody, uh, if you haven't met James yet or you, you haven't seen him since the last mega training two years ago he came out, uh, absolutely he's a speaker you don't want to miss at our event this year. Uh, and he's uh, just a great guy. He'll be around at uh, just some hangout time to come say hello and introduce yourself. Um, and he is a, a really a, a leader and pioneer uh, in this industry now. And and uh, going down paths that, that really few have gone on in this industry. Um, and so it's exciting to, uh, to, to, to see that and to, to share that with, with our folks. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's, that's about it. Uh, look forward to seeing you at Megatree. If you haven't registered now, uh, get on it. We're, we're kind of coming near the tail end of registration. We're starting to fill up um, and we're getting close to where uh, things will be sold out very soon. So. Uh, register at www.megatraining2011.com and James, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Yeah. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.